Looking for magic cards or magic carps? TCG Player has all the singles you need to upgrade your decks. Import a list with mass entry and let the card optimizer do the rest. Use my affiliate link down below when shopping and you'll be supporting the channel at the same time. Alright, it's time for our first March of the Machine draft here in the Early Access event, so thanks again to Wizards for letting me participate. Okay, pack one, pick one, and we start with a bang. Jengitaxius, 5 mana, 5-5 five, five, ward, 2, and gets to draw additional cards if we can cast expensive non-creature spells, and of course with a new Convoke mechanic being mainly in blue and red, it's not going to be too difficult to pick some of those up. What else is in the pack? Got a good removal spell with Tandem Takedown as well as Collective Nightmare, so two of the best uncommon removal spells in their respective colors. We've got uh, Multiverse Legend, Emoti, which is also quite good in blue-green if you're kind of a ramp deck. And uh, let's see here, the Billy Rider, also decent if you can find ways to increase its power. A Knight for the Blue-White Knights deck, good in red-white as well, with a backup mechanic putting plus one counters on it. And uh, Meeting of Minds could be a nice one to wheel to synergize with Jingataxius, assuming we can pick up some cheap token makers to help with Convoke, which is mainly in blue-red, could also end up blue-white with a few knight tokens that have Vigilance, which also synergize with Convoke. Okay, second pack, Tandem Takedown number two could be nice. There's also Hoarding Broodlord, 8 mana, 7, 6, Flying, also has Convoke and gets to tutor something up that we can also cast with Convoke. So yet another bomb here. Might be worth a try, and then we're gonna have to find some uh, other ways to make a bunch of tokens. Blue doesn't have a ton of them. Might still end up splashing, but we'll see. Other options include Squadron, another Convoke card, but at that point might as well go for the Dragon. Yeah, Tandem Takedown to maybe set up a blue-green deck would be the other choice. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go for the Dragon here. Anything else we can hope to wheel? Not really. The Order, decent to drop in the more aggressive decks. Not really what we're looking for. And the Corruption also better in blue-green, where you have more transform cards. That's a pretty late Marshal. Um, definitely one of the better uncommon payoff cards. So maybe I should take it here, and then we may end up going blue-white. Can wheel another meeting here. There's another Billy Rider. Invasion, one of the battles, also quite good. Makes a 2-2 knight, and then if we can deal 5 damage to it, turns into an enchantment, giving our creatures plus 1, plus 1. So I'm going to go ahead and take the Marshal, and then hope to wheel either meeting, invasion, or Billy Rider. And there's a decent chance we wheel one of those. Judge of Valor, also quite good. And uh, yeah, would keep us in black to go with a Brute Lord potentially. Um, anything else? Phalad is fine, I guess, would make a token. And we can transform it outside of a green deck as well if we just pay two life. So this one would actually work quite well with our Brute Lord. But we'll take the Marshal and then possible we just send a blue white without playing the dragon. Next up pretty bad counter spell. This is more of a sideboard card. I would not main deck this. But uh, there's a squadron, expensive knight with convoke. We've got a reasonable equipment, plus one plus one and vigilance, equips for just one mana. If we're in the market for equipment, this will do. And then as we mentioned, corruption is going to be much better in blue-green or a deck that has more transform creatures or incubator tokens. Could still try it out. Um... Any red cards that make tokens for Convoke? Not really. There is a Cosmic Hunger, which is also quite good. The green removal spell. So, could speculate on Hunger, or we could take one of the slightly less exciting on-color cards with Squadron or Halberd. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and take the Squadron. Next up... That's a pretty late Skittering Surveyor, always a fan. That seems good. Then Meeting of Minds. I'm sure we'll get another one since we've seen a few already. <laughs> another Corruption. Someone's going to be happy with those. Uh, Sunder the Gateway, essentially a 2 mana 2-2, two, two, or it can destroy an artifact or enchantment. That's not a token. And then still Incubate. 
And of course to incubate means we get one of these incubator tokens. Not a creature, but can turn into a creature if we pay two mana. And then it will still have those plus one plus one counters on it. In this case, two counters. So those are interesting too. But uh, yeah, always a fan of Surveyor. Just gets a land. Gives us a body to maybe convoke with. Keeps our options open. Alrighty, so pick six. There's another Surveyor. Not going to say no. Emoti number two. Repurposing. Kind of expensive, but does get you an extra incubator token as well, which is nice. And uh, that's about it. Dual land in case we know the blue-black. But uh, just take a Surveyor. Okay. So pick seven, and that's a very late Cosmic Hunger, so maybe I should have been green all along. Alternatively, I can take an Order of the Mirror and stick to the Blue-White Knight theme. But uh, yeah, Cosmic Hunger is a bit of a sign here. I don't think I'm passing anything too amazing. Failed conversion, reasonable removal, just a bit on the pricey side. Revelation as a discard spell. Got some pump spells here. Eraser's pretty bad. So, I'll take the hunger and see where we end up. Okay, that's a late preening champion. This one's excellent with Convoke as well. I'll take as many of these as I can get. Otherwise, I could have gone for a tracker as well as a decent two-drop in green to help us ramp. Anything else worth noting? Drinker, maybe good in the... Phyrexian tribal decks, which is usually black-white. Also good in the sacrifice deck, red-black. But let's take a champion. And then now we can pick up these meetings that we've seen earlier. Could also speculate on Eclipse, but... Want to make sure we pick up a few meetings. Tranquil Cove might be the pick here, or we can still take a two-drop. Because yeah, at this point I'm not sure if I'm going Blue-White Knights, if I'm going more in the control direction. Because there'll be Blue-Black for all I know. So it's really not clear. Don't think I'll need a Squadron, and Order seems pretty replaceable. Whereas Cove could be quite valuable if I do need to splash a bit of white or end up Blue-White. The Black creature also not too exciting there. Okay, do we want an Oculus Whelp? Not a huge fan, but could be a fine curve filler, as opposed to the urn, which is kind of expensive to activate. So we did not end up getting more meetings so far, it seems. Grab a halberd. And do we need a mauler? It's not bad if we are black. Gorilla, I can certainly leave to the wayside. Yeah, I guess I don't see myself necessarily needing red-white, but you never know. And there's another whelp. can take a three-drop now. All right, so I'm a bit concerned about my early curve, a bit light on creatures, but the late game is looking good, especially if we do end up playing the Brute Lord. Okay, so pack two opened the sweeper. Sunfall can be quite powerful. So that pushes me back into white. Maybe we end up just blue-white control. Especially if we end up wheeling cut short as another removal spell. There's another surveyor. There's a cantrip with moment of truth. The unicorn has a bit of a life gain synergy. A bit difficult to enable. Definitely have to work for it. But the gain lands help. So here I think we just take sunfall. And then... We might be blue-white, somehow trying to play the dragon still, or we could just forego black. Second pick, there's a Quende in white, more of an aggressive card. So a seal from existence seems like the better pick as a nice removal spell. Bola Slinger, also more of an aggro card. Would love another preening champion, but we might wheel it, given the other one went pretty late. And, uh, yeah. So far, don't have a strong incentive to go green. Keruga. Well, if there's ever a deck that rewards us for having lots of expensive cards, having Keruga's Companion is certainly one of them. So that could be fun. 
anything else in the pack. The Intercessor's great, can cycle it early to get a planes, and then late game it removes a creature, so this one would be nice too. Um, any other blue cards I want? I guess the counter spell here would be decent too. But right now if I were to play Keruga, like I can cut the Marshall and the Halberd, and no problem. Sure. Next up, there's a tandem takedown in green, if we still want to make that happen. Um, we do have, of course, double surveyor for fixing, so that's helpful. But takedown also needs us to have some creatures, which we're light on. Or I can take like a Billy Rider anyway as a 3-drop, even though we don't have any real synergy with it, just as a curve filler. Or we can take Inga which eh, isn't particularly exciting, but does let us cry. Yeah, if we go with kind of the expensive Kiruga plan, then um, I'm less into playing a bunch of Convoke cards, but uh, maybe that's fine. Next up, can take a Bounce spell. This one gets a discount if it targets a uh, attacking creature, so it Kind of feels like cheating having this alongside Keruga as companion. So I'm down. Otherwise, there are some decent green cards with the Sailback and the Kavu, which I wouldn't mind. But uh, this keeps us more in blue. We're not really committed to green so far. And now Fertile Its Favor gives us a bit of ramp. Nightmare in Black could still be a thing too, I suppose, if we want to splash it. Triple black for the Brutal Lord's going to be tough. But, uh, yeah, I don't really see myself playing Fertile its favor. And if we want a Companion Kiruga, I don't get to play a 2-2 lifelink, which would otherwise be decent too. Yeah, sure. Do we need Bloodfell Caves? We don't. Don't get to play Elspeth Smite. So there's not a whole lot of options. Maybe I'll end up splashing a Storm Sculptor, who knows. We have the Crag, we have Double Surveyor. This could be a pretty wild deck. Okay, next up... Yeah, don't get to play Simulate Essence, do we? 1-4 Vigilance is a good blocker, I assume. As opposed to Vat Keeper, which I don't think we're realistically casting. Invasion of Rin lets us draw and discard. Unlikely to ever transform it since we're pretty light on creatures. So probably prefer cut short as removal then. Alright, there's our champion. And I could take a Mauler. Can get us an extra Swamp. To cast our Brute Lord and late game, it's not bad. Okay, so we're looking like an Esper deck. Main blue, and then I've got a bit of white and a bit of black. So Barons will fit in nicely. Don't think I'm splashing red. And uh, yeah, Jengataxis is looking good. We have some expensive non-creature spells. Alright, last pack. Nothing too exciting. There's a cleansing as removal. And I guess we do have double champion now to help with Convoke. Unseal the Necropolis as a way to get back creatures. Doesn't seem all that necessary when we're already kind of creature light but maybe if we end up wheeling it I'll play it and since we're splashing black I'm not expecting to be able to play this early even if we didn't have Keruga as companion so yeah I guess uh, cleansing it is next up another dispersal 
or we can splash a failed conversion. Croxine Conoros, quite powerful too. But I think we've got enough uh, powerful late games that I don't need to get too greedy. There's another Unseal we can hope to wheel. The Free Wheeler would also be on the splash. And we don't have a ton of cheap permanents ourselves to get back with it. So I'll just grab a Dispersal. Hmm. Yeah, this one seems a bit ambitious. Just don't have enough cheap creatures to enable it, really. So what are our options? Huntmaster on the splash. Scroll shift. I guess isn't bad with preening champion and scattering surveyor. Also re-enables our hoarding brute lord. Yeah, might be worth it actually. We have some good ETBs. Another preening champion for Surveyor. Oh man. My two favorite three drops in the set. Surveyor might be more important for fixing. We don't have a ton of convo cards. Yeah, let's grab Surveyor. Ooh, nice. This one's splashable, double blue and black. I'll take it. So this is coming together nicely. Anything else in the pack? Not really. I guess we'll grab the failed conversion now since there's nothing else. Well, first draft, Kiruga's Companion. Some pretty nice bombs. Squadron's probably not going to make the cuts. Don't need Thornwood Falls, do we? Mm, don't think I'll need a second scroll shift. Archivist is also an option if we want an extra curve topper. Eh, let's go for a bit of card draw. Nothing too exciting here. And there's my Archivist if I want it, or I can grab Unseal the Necropolis. Maybe it's okay to have one of those. In case your opponent has a lot of removal, to have a bit of inevitability. Okay. In terms of mana fixing, we've got two dual lands, and then, of course, triple surveyor, which is a big one. Only really need to make one cut. Maybe an analyst. Yeah, no two drops when you're planning to play Kiruga as companion. So we actively avoided those. If we were playing best of three, there is a world where we potentially don't have Kiruga in the sideboarded games as companion and then want to lower the curve of the deck somewhat. But since this is best of one, I don't have to take that into account. Okay. And then the lands. Let's see here. So I have six black. Seven blue, six whites. Definitely cut a few swamps. So now I'm at seven whites, eight blue. The blue seems slightly more important than the white early. And then we still have three swamps to potentially get with the surveyor to help cast a brute lord. Yeah, this seems fine. Go to sweeper, couple of removal spells, couple of bombs. Okay, we've got all three colors, a surveyor. Yeah, we'll keep. And now we can cycle for a swamp. All according to plan. Turn two trackers, nice. So 
So despite not having any two drops in our deck, I can still make a play. Okay, Historian's gonna be down pretty hard. So we're definitely counting on this Sunfall to catch us back up. So we'll get a Plains. Next turn we could seal something. Okay, opponent cycling as well. Could put Karuga in hand here. And play a tap land as well. Depends how early we want to set up the Sunfall. I guess I'll have to discard to hand size here. Which is a little awkward. A land can go. Wayfinder. That one should not be able to hit us here. Seems a bit early for Sunfall. Could always play Kiruga and can't trip with it, and that would technically stabilize me. Or we can just Dispersal and then still Meeting of Minds. Bone found their black mana. Champion and a land. Champion will be good to go alongside Kiruga as well. So, sure. Take three. And draw two. So now I'm considering just uh, playing a bunch of stuff out. Can play Champion, which helps with the Convoke on Nightmare. And then... That's probably good for now. Could also... Hmm, I guess we cannot quite seal from existence Champion and Nightmare, since then I won't have the black for Convoke. Where does that leave us? Probably still Champion and Pass. Do you want to play a seal from existence before playing Kiruga? Sure. That works. Take three again. And there's an Ancient. Alright, so that one we can seal. And that would be my whole turn. Could also Sunfall, because I don't really want to Sunfall after playing Kiruga necessarily. And then I don't think I want to attack first, because then we have fewer creatures for the uh, Incubates. And then I can Incubate end of turn as well. So then we'll have a 5-5. Five, five. Okay. Waiting for a target for the seal from existence before we play Kiruga. That's dead. Sure, I could scroll shift. We would get to draw. Opponent doesn't get to surveil. Feels a bit weak. Yeah, our hand's not bad. Just waiting for our opponent to play some more creatures out. And then get value from Kiruga. It's a waiting game. Okay. I 
nice see. Opponent was keeping up the haste and regenerate. Good thing seal exiles. Could also bounce it with dispersal, but I'll take the hits. And then do I just play Karuga here to draw one? Sure. Although it would be shields down on scroll shift, maybe I should wait. Assailant's fine. Okay, I guess we'll Surveyor first. And then I can still Kiruga and Scroll Shift. No Surveyor. All right, so we could scroll shift the Surveyor, or we can keep it to flicker Karuga. I feel like this is probably just better. Is there another removal spell? All right, fair enough. Still get to draw one with Karuga. And hopefully they're out of answers here. Nope, Invasion of Lorwyn, kill Karuga. All right, that did not quite go according to plan. Can draw with invasion, can failed conversion kill this and surveil. We are running quite low on win conditions here, still have Jenga Taxis and the Brute Lord. So those are cards we're looking for. Alright, so Jin, we want to draw as soon as possible. So I could Invasion now, or I could do it next turn. Although, we have to be careful with the Jin here, that we don't end up decking. Yeah, that's a real concern. So 12 cards remaining. Yeah, let's just play this now. Lucranos, okay, of the triple green. So I can play Jin, eight cards left. Yeah, sure. And then cleansing after playing champion here to be efficient. Got this one as well. So we can try and end the game in a hurry. Renata's good too. And a Kami. Yeah, let's bounce Renata so Kami doesn't pick up a plus one counter. Six cards left. Alright, let's keep those on top. So this can copy a spell, although we don't have very many spells remaining. If I play Hidatsugu 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, we should still be able to play the Brute Lord afterwards. We know they're drawing Polukronos. So Brainstorm putting back. So these are all our remaining cards. Mill 3 seems a bit dangerous. Go for the Analyst, I suppose. And then I could still cast it with Convoke. Can we beat a Transform Polukronos? That's a good question. This gives me the ability to copy a spell. Yeah, I probably just have to go face here. 
And then we can play this with Convoke. Alright. There's Polychronos. And they can transform it thanks to the Kami. 6-6, six, six, Reach, and Lifelink. If I attack with everyone, can I cut short my own creature? I guess we can. So if I attack with all, let's say they block the Broodlord, then we still hit them for enough damage through the Lifelink. Alright, that should work. Zero cards in library. Sweet. That was quite the game. I've got a keeper. Opponent on a black white Phyrexian deck. Okay, so I can uh, Swamp Cycle. Have to be careful with putting Kiruga in hand so we don't discard to hand size. So I'm probably playing a turn three champion. Okay, that's another nice one. Incubate four. And gives Vigilance, which plays around Cut Short perfectly. So I'm not loving that. At least we can run out a bunch of creatures to draw with Kiruga. Yeah, Pwn can hit us for 7 here. Oof. Another nice enchantment. Yeah, they've got all the uncommon Phyrexian enchantments, one after the other. So... Probably gonna need to find a Sunfall at some point to stand a chance. Don't intend to chump with the champion since I want to draw with Kiruga first. I may want to chump with the elemental, but let's just attack with it. Yeah, if it weren't for the Vigilance, Cut Short would be pretty effective here. So 5-5 five, five, thanks to Sculpted Perfection. Take 9. Ouch. Surveyor helps, so can chump and then scroll shift, and then still activates Analyst. And then we probably want to flicker the champion to make an extra chump blocker. Three three, we can block at least. Okay, that one's dead. What don't we like? Probably still hang on to the cut short, or opponent's gonna play non Phyrexian at some point, I hope. Uh, failed conversion kills one of the tokens next turn. And then dispersal, I guess, does work on the tokens, so that's great too. Alright, so we're not in terrible shape. Planes can go. and those get to surveil. And uh, 
Hidatsugu looks good. Do I need a planes afterwards? Not really. Could also just trade for the 3 3 at this point, which is maybe fine. Since it doesn't look like I'm setting up Kiruga anytime soon. And then the surveyors will maybe help with Kiruga later. Alright, Scour Barons can go. Alright, so we managed to trade off nicely. Freewheeler. Oof, that milled our uh, Hidatsuga and Kairi, sadly. Do have a way of getting it back. But uh, we might end up low on wind conditions again. Okay, Brute Lord helps. So now I can cut short Freewheeler, but not if they transform it first, because then it's a Phyrexian, which will have Vigilance. So cut short once again is a little bit short of being effective. Want to get a Swamp for the Brute Lord. Never mind, our opponent Mildor Swamp, I guess. Doesn't matter too much. Yeah, they mulled the one remaining swamp. So can I even cast the Brute Lord now? I guess I need a black creature in play. It's going to be tricky. Yeah, because we also got rid of the Scoured Barons, so... This is going to be kind of awkward. And now invasion, which they can transform right away. So take five. Well, it's Kiruga time, I guess. Still have our sweeper somewhere in the deck. 13 cards remaining. Grasp on Karuga. So do we fall to two or do we double chump? I think we fall to two. Taisa. Okay, we've got our work cut out for us here. Can start with Inga. And then we can still preening champion and then draw a bunch with meeting. Alright, Sunfall is going to be pretty important, I'm thinking. And then Jink Taxi is not a bad follow up. So let's see. Can play champion and then still convoke both of my spells potentially. Okay, that can exile one of our creatures. This one's also Phyrexian. Alright, fine, we'll cast this now. What's our plan with cut short? I guess kill Taisa. And then we're chumping the uh, freewheeler. Or we can just chump since we're gonna sunfall anyway. Can triple chump, hang on to cut short. That seems fine. And then we'll get Inga back as well. Make sure to attack first. As the opponent, you know what's incoming after that. Okay. What do we like? Unseal. Nine cards left. Would get back my... Uh, Hidatsugu potentially. 
and the mauler. So it does seem pretty good. So we'll keep that, then I can mill an island, and then cleansing will shuffle back. And then, let's see here, do we want to invasion? Nine cards left. This one might be a little risky if we're going to play Jin at some point. So yeah, we're just going to activate our incubator token. Recycler. It's kind of scary when we're at two. I guess if they activate it, we can kill it with cut short. So if I brainstorm, I don't have very many cards left, which seems to be a common trend here. But uh it does put a big flyer on the battlefield. And then put back cards I'm not interested in. Okay, now at least we can take care of the recycler. And I could even cast this now. Yeah, I guess we'll just go for it now. Don't think there's any haste creatures I need to play around. Alright. Four cards remaining. Pretty good cards in hand. Can finally convoke Broodlord if we want to now. Sky Warden's fine. So opponent seems dead on board if we attack all out, but let's play Mauler. And our opponent concedes. Sweet. Another close one here. We're fighting our own deck against decking, but we've got a lot of powerful cards at least to carry us to victory. Well, we're missing a land, but any third land lets us play Surveyor and got a Sunfall to catch us back up. Another Awakening, okay. At least we've got our Dispersal at the ready. So next turn we could both Meeting and Dispersal. Thanks to Zerda they can actually activate this for just one mana. So they could have attacked if they wanted to, but potentially missed that opportunity. Alright, so we'll pass it back. Unless we want to kill Zerda here with the Nightmare. Which is maybe reasonable too, and then we can still bounce. Protect our life total before we start drawing cards. Not going to get a chance to attack if they animate the token. And then Dispersal looking for an extra white source. At least it doesn't protect against Dispersal here. Yeah, Dispersal's been impressive. Probably don't need Invasion when we have Meeting and Jin in hand, but I'll keep the Cleansing. I'll try to keep this as a win condition since we've been struggling to close out games. Bonus cycles Carapace. And a Guardian can only flicker creatures or artifacts, so not enchantments. Meeting, tapping Surveyor maybe? Got her double white now for cleansing. And 
and Dispersal is also quite nice alongside Jin. Storm of the Seed Core. Okay. Opponent's going all in here. Don't mind if I do. One mana bounce, draw a card. And uh, let's see here. Already have seven mana, probably don't need more. Yeah, I'll keep Inga. Just to make sure we have enough threats left. No black mana. Keep a conversion. Good cleansing very efficiently. Yeah, I guess I probably should have kept the extra swamp there. Still have one left in the deck. The game might be over before it matters. Auto tapper not doing the opponent any favors. Okay. Conversion, kill, escort, attack all out, should do it. And there's our extra black mana. Although at this point we could play champion. Sweet, that was a fast one. Jenga Taxius finally getting to draw cards without being afraid of decking. Okay, decent hand. Seed of Hope. So we're looking at Surveyor. Maybe Dispersal in the meantime. Oof, Wayfinder. Yeah, that's going to hit us, isn't it? Unless I want to Dispersal it, which may be worth it. Otherwise the opponent gets to ramp. Sure. At least they won't be able to replay it now. Do I want a preening champion? I do want the island, probably. Although a surveyor can also find one. I don't expect to need a ton of extra mana. Sure. And then still surveyor over preening champion. To get the double blue sorted in case I don't want to play it next turn. And then ideally we can play champion next turn and cut short with Convoke in the same turn. Okay, that could work out nicely. Now auto tapper, are you going to cooperate? Nope. So that's going to make it a little bit more obvious potentially that we're holding cut short, but so be it. So this one of 4-5 transforms into 7-5 with Menace. Hopefully they go for it. Perfect. One mana, kill your creature. And there's a Sunfall. But time for Jin. Might have been a greedy attack if they have removal for Jin. We don't have great blocks on the Wayfinder. Next turn, maybe Conversion. Ooh, Imperiosaur is a 10 10. Okay, that's uh, pretty scary. Could, of course, Sunfall, reset the boards. Although then I exile Jin. Just kind of sad. Could shrink it down to a 6-6, six, six, and then try and block it. And then if my Jin dies, I can unseal it back. Ward is 2, so I guess never mind, I wouldn't be able to pay for the ward. Okay, I guess it's uh, Sunfall time. We're pretty far ahead already. Yep. 
you know, maybe I should have actually attacked all out or opponent blocks Jin, and then Jin ends up in the graveyard for unseal, even though my incubator token's a little bit smaller. Might have been worth it. But we should be able to close out the game pretty quickly now. Opponent stays back to Trump. Do we want to remove their token here? Could also just attack, let them Trump play Keruga. And then present lethal for next turn. Even though we give up on a bit of value. Okay, Moloch. Actually, find an extra card since we cast a blue spell. Four, three, yeah, seal plus cleansing should do it. Okay, that was a fast one. And is eh, fine, I guess. Double Surveyor makes it good. You can always discard lands that we find with Surveyor to the Analyst. Get our planes. And then the next surveyor might get another swamp. Okay, put on potentially a backup deck that can grow the depth guard. If I play another surveyor, I can keep up cut short, which may be worth it. Or I can just play analysts and do the same. Eventually want to set up Keruga here with all these three mana creatures. Having a bunch of Convoke cards definitely helps with having a pretty high curve. Makes it so we can still have pretty efficient plays. Okay, that works. So the Slinger tapping a creature down. But not before we Convoke. There's our Sunfall, so we've got a bit of insurance. If I Surveyor gets an extra planes, I could still Cleansing. If we feel like Cleansing the uh, Slinger here. And I guess I'll have to tap the Analyst for that to work. Yeah, that seems reasonable. And then next turn... Kiruga in hand. His opponent kept a slinger on top. So yeah, the plan is going to be Kiruga before Sunfall. Hopefully we won't even need the Sunfall. But I want to get my value first. Okay, another backup creature. Dispersal was great. So if I put Kiruga in hand... Can still dispersal, could also invasion and keep up blue for dispersal, or maybe draw with analyst. And then Kiruga can maybe be a little bit better later. I guess I do want to maybe keep up black if we draw the convoke card. Uh, land can go. All right, let's pass it back. They can just block the heal slasher unless they 
put another counter on it. Sure, so we're not gonna loot. Hopefully they don't find anything they can cast here. Looks like they didn't. Opponent's afraid we're gonna finish off the battle, so they're killing all my creatures. Of course, also good when we have a Karuga as companion. And no attack. I guess they're just keeping it back for protection on the invasion. Well, change of plan. Can play Jin now. Seems good. Could draw a bunch with Kiruga, or we can set up our board a little bit more first. Just play champion here. Uh, yeah, can attack or battle with Jin. Opponent can animate the token to trump with it. That's fine. Although they might have another trick up their sleeve. Cut short. Alright, so let them pay the ward. And then... Bounce Ronjin. Jin. Do I want any of these? I feel like I should keep the Barons so I still have triple black in case we draw the Brute Lord. I learned from my mistakes. And then... Maybe now go champion, put Kiruga in hand, or I can just play Jin, and then next turn just put Kiruga in hand and play it. So hopefully we just end up playing Kiruga, find some more flying creatures like the Brute Lord or Hidatsugu. So we don't have to cast a Sunfall. Opponent's got their own Flyer now, Aeronauts. At least we're still at 20. Okay, so Champion, Kiruga in hand, play Barons and pass. They want to trade away a Jin. And then next turn we'll get to draw a bunch of cards. Bones got one unknown in hand. Slinger should be manageable. And a slasher's next. Okay, Kiruga time at long last. Alright, there's Hidatsugu. And then we can still cast this for free, essentially. Ten cards remaining, so we have to be a bit mindful of our library size. No attacks. Could have put something expensive on top with Hidatsuga, I suppose, but yeah, opponent has seen enough. Meeting was going to be able to draw two more, plus one with Jin. And then we should be able to find the Brute Lord pretty soon as well. We've got a Keeper. We'll need to get some uh, black mana for the Brute Lord, if that helps. Look at the efficiency, just playing our two tap lands when we don't have anything else going on. Put on the red black, maybe a sacrifice deck. Maybe I should have played Cove first so we could play Dispersal for one mana, but probably wasn't going to bounce their two drop. Alright. They are hitting us pretty hard. Can still play Surveyor if I'd like. This is a type of uh, matchup where I wouldn't mind my Sweeper. And then next turn, I could maybe Dispersal and put Kiruga in hand. Okay, 
cut short helps. So we can answer a few creatures next turn. Or I can still go for Kiruga and then Dispersal. Although we've got Jin, we can play next turn, which is probably going to be better. So let's just answer some creatures. Hopefully they transform the Artisan. Right, they've got other plans. So let's see here. What's the scariest creature? Frontliner we can probably ignore. And then I'm guessing destroy the Artisan, bounce Huntmaster. Start here. Sunfall. That's a card. So let's say we keep that on top. And then just not cast a cut short now. Do I want a cleansing afterwards? Sure. Good with Jin. So now I might want to chump just to preserve my life total a bit. Even though our uh, token from Sunfall is going to be smaller. Alright, that buys us a lot of time. And greatsword, sure. So play Jin seems to make the most sense. They might have an answer to it. But we've got more threats coming up. Can maybe use the incubator token to help convoke out the brood lord, but we'll have to animate it first. Okay, final flourish, killing Jin, but they had to sack their sword for it, so a nice two for one. Now I can animate this, play Inga, or I can play Inga, put Kiruga in hand. This is eight mana. Let's see, five, six, seven. Yeah, assuming Inga survives, I'll still be able to Broodlord next turn. So maybe Kiruga's more mana efficient. Don't really care about the damage. Okay, can keep a conversion. Maybe I should keep a land as well just to be safe. Although I'll end up shuffling it with a Broodlord if I play it. Don't think it matters. Okay. Beatstick without creatures. And that can find Hidatsugu. I guess one potential concern is our opponent having an act of treason to steal our Broodlord and hit us with it. Could also go for the Mauler, but uh. Uh, they're just gonna kill it. That's fine. Okay, draw Mauler anyways. So I could cast it, hit for five. Could play Hidatsugu and animate our incubator. And then we'll maybe brainstorm, put the cleansing on top. I guess I could also put the Mauler on top, actually, which will make them lose more life. Something like this. Opponent's got a trick. Alright, just a vanquish. I might get punished if our opponent makes us mill a few cards. Valduk, okay, that explains all the equipment. Can still block the elemental token here. Okay. 
Alrighty, so next up, got a couple of options. How many cards do I have left? 20. So I could seal and then Kiruga. And then next turn with uh, Mauler, we should be able to close out the game. Alright, we got to cast pretty much all our bombs this game. Maybe play around Vanquish the Week. Alright, sweet. Okay, we're on the play. We're missing some creatures, but lots of removal. I think it's still worth a shot. I guess we'll go for Kiruga here. On the play means we don't have to discard to hand size, at least. Can draw two with meeting. Opponent discarding to hand size. So, can play Yodetsugu already. I'm gonna have to discard to hand size myself in a second. But seems fine. Okay, what do we put back? I probably want to use the shuffle or the scry to get rid of cards I don't want. Don't see myself casting two surveyors. Keep the extra black source. All right, Barrage, nice one mana answer. At least we got to deal a bit of damage. All right, so we might play double Surveyor after all. And get my third Swamp. Renata. Okay, this is it Kiruga time. If I Kiruga, I can still Nightmare take care of Renata. Seems good. And then we're still digging towards some of our other finishers. Jenga Taxius, the Brute Lord. Got 18 cards left. Can set up a scroll shift on Kiruga potentially too. Yeah, let's keep up scroll shift as opposed to playing another champion out. And then I don't really want to trade here, do I? I'm going to watch out for some of the red sweepers that could deal with all our small stuff. But it's got our own surveyor. And gets white mana. That explains why they might have been struggling earlier. Could unseal to get back Hidatsugu. I think I wait to get back some more bombs later if the game does drag out. I 
Adaptation. Sure. Block the champion. Hoping to be able to scroll shift in response to removal on Karuga. Although now on seal looks better since we'll have two creatures to get back at least. Don't mind seeing that. Might have been a good opportunity to scroll shift as well, but sure, this seems fine. Broodlord and Hidatsugu seems good. How much damage do we have? 7, 8, 9, 10. Using Hidatsugu maybe can put the Brute Lord on top. Awesome. Well, definitely showcased the strength of the deck. Sometimes didn't even need to cast our sweeper when we had the chance to. Nice clean 7-0. Made our gems back. And can see if I can do a cracker pack. Nope, we already have all the rares unlocked in the set, sadly. So no pack one pick ones. But yeah, nevertheless, that was a fun draft. Hopefully I'll get a chance to do a couple more if the videos do well on YouTube. So make sure to leave a comment and engage with the videos however you see fit. But for now, wanna thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.